Can Blizzard Fix WoW's Early Game? By Nixium. Warning, you're about to hear a bunch of opinions, so don't get too mad. So one thing that people have sort of picked up on in regards to my opinions about World of Warcraft is that I'm always thinking about the new guy. Yeah, I have opinions on what Blizzard can do for veterans and how to expand the content that they enjoy, but I always feel like the new player, and I mean the new new player, sort of gets neglected for the most part. It seems like Blizzard doesn't really have the mindset anymore that new players are going to come to WoW, which is completely untrue. So they tend to focus more on veteran content rather than any early game content, which is unfortunate. Well, I figured that maybe I could do a video offering my advice on how to potentially help newer players enjoy the game more and endure that grind to max level. Some of my ideas might be a bit controversial, but remember that they're just my opinions. Feel free to disagree. Number 1. Make factions that you can meet at level 1, earn reputation for, as well as rewards. Now this point might sound a bit familiar as I briefly did touch on it in my If I Was In Charge Of World Of Warcraft video. But let me elaborate a bit more on it as I didn't get to say very much originally. Imagine that you log into your character, a level 1 paladin, and one of the quests you get in Northshire Abbey sends you to Stormwind to meet with a member of the Church of the Holy Light. You meet him, and suddenly you become neutral with the faction. He then proceeds to give you some quests that originally send you to zones like Westfall, Red Ridge, and so forth, starting those quest lines, but upon hitting level 15 to 20, you begin to get dungeon quests from the faction, or maybe even some crafting quests. All of this, doing quests out in the world, doing dungeons, and all the relevant content appropriate to your level, earns you reputation with this faction. With this reputation you acquire, you could slowly unlock the ability to buy certain rewards, such as gear, experience boost potions, mounts, and so forth. There would of course be other worthwhile factions as well you can earn status with at early levels, might I add. You wouldn't be limited to this single one, and professions could definitely play a role in this system. A paladin, for example, could be earning reputation with the church while he levels, but he could also be interacting with and earning reputation with the mining guild of Stormwind, or the blacksmithing union in order to learn new crafting recipes or unlock abilities like maybe faster mining. All of the basic rewards would be relevant to the player's level up experience, but the faction would also be relevant at level cap because these organizations, whichever they might be, would also provide rewards and services to max level players. Maybe make it so that the guy you originally meet at level 1 becomes a follower for you upon reaching max level, if Blizzard continues their follower system past Legion. Now the reason why I like this idea is that I think new players would enjoy the prospect of leveling up not only their characters, but gaining points in other territories as well that matter. Although they wouldn't realize it at the time, by gaining this reputation new players would be helping themselves upon reaching level cap where someone like me at max level would need to go out, run 10 billion dungeons, do a million quests, and so forth to begin my reputation grind, a new player upon reaching max level would sort of have a head start. It's also important to note that a max level player cannot gain reputation with these factions by doing low level quests, low level dungeons, or by crafting items that are not relevant to the character now. The whole reputation process could be scaled to the person's level, and I'm just putting that out there before somebody asks. Number 2. Continue to update the old low-level dungeons. Now this one is pretty self-explanatory, as you can see. Over the past few expansions, Blizzard has been slowly updating the old world dungeons, such as Scarlet Monastery, Skullamons, RFK, RFD, and so on and so forth. These dungeons have updated graphics, bosses, lore, and quests. This is an awesome idea, to say the least, and Blizzard should definitely continue to do this in future expansions. Although, I will add one small thing. If you can, Blizzard, make the dungeons a bit more challenging. Demand more coordination, make the dungeon experiences take a little bit more time due to difficulty as you advance in the level, but reward players with more experience points and items upon completing the last boss. Dungeons should help prepare players for endgame raiding, 
and they should be engaging and somewhat challenging. And right now, well, they're not. You can pretty much just blow through them with ease, I mean, come on. It's just my opinion, but I think people would have a lot more fun taking on more challenging dungeon encounters rather than just running through the dungeon as fast as they can so they can queue up for the next one. It gets boring after a while. Now, also, I've played a mage since Vanilla WoW, so I am a bit biased on this subject, but I'd love to see things like crowd controlling become necessary again in even low-level dungeon encounters. It means that dungeon members would actually need to talk to one another again in order to defeat the last boss and to reach him. And wouldn't that be something? Number three. Low level class quests. In Legion, Blizzard is really pushing class identity at max level. And as someone who's been playing in the alpha, I can tell you that it's awesome. I love all the work they've done so far, but I feel that maybe some of this love could also be applied to lower level players as well. Personally, I do not see anything wrong with giving new players opportunities to learn about the class they've chosen by undertaking tasks that yield rewards. I think it would be cool to again see quests that send you into certain dungeons or to certain zones to collect reagents in order to construct class-specific items, such as armor or weapons. These pieces of gear could be used for transmog by higher level players, but for lower level players it could provide them with maybe experience bonuses. A mage class questline may result in the new player getting a robe that gives them plus 3% to all experience gains. Now monks already get a huge experience bonus from their class daily, so I don't think it's a bad thing to put something similar yet different in the hands of other classes. If Blizzard is so keen on getting people to level cap so damn quick nowadays, this could be a good way to do it. Also, as I mentioned before as a side note, it would be pretty cool to learn more about the classes we play as, as we play them. It's more immersive, Blizzard. It gives us... character. You know? Number 4. Make professions relevant at early levels. In Legion, Blizzard is reworking a lot of the professions to make them more exciting and more engaging to the player base. But what about new players? What about the low-level guys? You see, as a veteran player, I remember how back in the day, you sort of needed professions to level. Unless, of course, you were a hunter, because hunters had it easy. Now sure, you didn't have to go get two professions, but it made leveling a hell of a lot easier and a lot less stress-free. Nowadays, professions are sort of the things you leave until max level, which is a shame because they definitely could add to the progressive feeling you get while leveling. So, how exactly do you make them relevant at low levels again? Well, if Blizzard did my faction idea, for example, crafting could be a way to earn reputation with the faction. A level 15 tailoring mage might be tasked with donating 10 bolts of wool cloth to the Kirin Tor. Doing so might even reward a crafting recipe for a piece of armor. Or maybe, since Blizzard is, again, trying to get people to max level as quickly as possible, Maybe the reputation reward gifts the player with a recipe for a robe that gives a 2% experience buff. Similar to heirlooms, but just weaker. You could also have cosmetic rewards that would be added into the wardrobe system Blizzard is releasing in Legion. Or perhaps mounts like the flying carpet or the gyrocopter thingy that engineers can make. You know what I mean. In this sense, for a new player, professions would help tremendously when it comes to the level up process. New gear, experience boosting armor or potions, or other perks that simply make the leveling more fun, quick, and enjoyable. In this sense, new players would be making things that would be relevant towards getting to max level more easily, which is of course their, their goal. Or just things that they can use at max level, such as mounts. I wouldn't say no to this system because personally I hate the whole system we have now, where you just kind of sit in Stormwind or Orgrimmar and you just spam the LFG button until you're level 90. It gets dull, and I don't think new players find it to be very enjoyable when they take on that challenge of leveling up their first character. This is actually one of the reasons why a lot of my friends who I tried to get into World of Warcraft quit the game before even reaching level 40. 
but there were other reasons as well. At the very least, when it comes to professions and how they work at low levels, just make it so that when you craft an item, it gives you experience points. I mean, you get experience points for picking a flower, but you don't get any experience points for turning that flower into a potion as an alchemist. So, maybe reward XP for both. Number five. More talent points. Now, I know that we've moved past the old vanilla WoW talent system, which is something a lot of people don't really like. Now, in my opinion, based on those I've talked to, people would much prefer to have a system that rewards a point every level compared to every 15 levels. Now, obviously, we can't have 100 rows of three choice talents, but would it be so much to ask for maybe a talent point every five levels instead? Or 10? I don't know. The talents also don't even have to be choices between new spells, but they could just be permanent boosts to your character and what they do. For example, you could have a choice between three talents such as, number one, crafting recipes cost one less reagent to construct. Number two, crafting rewards 1% more experience. Or number three, your crafted items sell for more at vendor NPCs. In this case, a person who is crafting for his guild has a talent to choose from, a person who wants to reach max level has a talent to choose from, and maybe a person struggling to make money has a talent to choose from. Like with our current talents, these talents would apply to different situations and different types of players. Also, the reason why I used crafting as an example is because we talked about professions in the previous bullet, but perks like these could also apply to your armor, your base stats, or really anything. In a game like World of Warcraft with so many different ways to customize your character, it's a shame that our talent trees are limited to just having to choose between passives and spells. At least in my opinion, I'd love to be able to use the crafting system to customize other things about my character and who he is. Regardless, I think a lot of people would just appreciate more choices to make as we level up. It's fun. It customizes our characters further, and, well, people like that. So maybe some more talent points could really add to that early game experience, Blizzard. I think new players would like that. Now really, the whole point of this video is just to get a discussion going. If you'd like to share some of the ideas that you have to potentially help the level up experience, feel free to leave them in the comments below, because obviously these are just things that I would like to see happen, but it might not be what you want to see happen, so feel free to contribute to the conversation. Thanks for watching though, guys. If you want to see more videos from me, you can click on the videos linked in front of you, and if you want, you can subscribe. So, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.